Alright, couple scoots that time. Oh. Welcome back to Zero to 60. Today we've got one of the most popular motorcycles in Australia. Well, in fact, one of the most popular motorcycles in the world. It's nothing but the Honda Cub. Now do stick around because we're going to have a bit of a closer look at this and we're going to see how quickly it can do 0 to 100 and while we've got all the GPS gear set up we'll see what its true top speed is like. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. Okay, initial impressions, it's not as slow, it's not as painfully slow as I thought it might be. Ooh. No, okay. Yeah, it doesn't really make much difference between just sitting on the throttle to, um, to yeah, flat out. It is weird um, not having a clutch. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you've got to be up it just to stay with the traffic. It's third already. And fourth, so that's top gear. Okay, admittedly, we'll do street speed very easy. It doesn't feel like the motor's revving very hard right now, or working very hard. The gearbox is strange, you have got to you have got to be, like, you really got to push the gears. You can't be gentle with it. You've got to force it through the gears. And straight away, coming down, you just... almost ride it like an automatic car. You just, you don't change down gear until you... until you've slowed your speed right down. Let's see how it pulls merging onto the highway. I've got nothing behind me, which is good. It is 100 degrees today, so... <laughs> I thought I'll just nip around the block quickly. I won't worry about my jacket, so I've got to make it snappy. Alright, that's flat out. Yeah. Actually, that's not too bad. The cars aren't completely... completely running away. It's still not working too hard. That's not as bad as I was thinking. But luckily the car's going slow. I don't I wouldn't feel comfortable just sitting at 100 k's on this. Thank you ambulance. Okay, we've got the green. too bad. Woo. Drop a gear and disappear probably not. No. No. Okay, awesome run. Be back at work in no time. And into neutral. Oh. Hmm. Takeoff's not a weapon. Yeah, okay, no. She is slow. That is undoubtedly the case. Now, funnily enough, I did notice that it actually has... It actually has a side stand on both the left and right. Which, I guess, is pretty handy for um, the Ozpost guys. 
Okay, we've got GPS. She's all good back there. Now, I have heard of people revving it and then just smashing it into first gear to try and get off the line a bit quicker. Uh, it's not my bike, so I'm not going to do that. I mean, I mean, it, it's kind of cheating. I'll let the fire truck go. But instead, I'm just going to give it a push with my feet to get off the line. Okay, so, are you ready? Go! To the boards! And get streamlined! We'll try again. We'll try again. When there's a break. Okay, you ready? First gear, and go. Oh. Second. Third. Fourth. didn't even look like I got anywhere near 100. I thought it was going to do that, to be honest. I thought it was going to get 100. The speeder goes up to 120. Um, but yeah, the wind resistance, as soon as you get to that 80 k's an hour, it's just a bit much for it. Although it doesn't, although it struggles to do 100 k's an hour, it's, um, I mean, it's a lot of fun to just bomb around through the, through the back streets like this. And I guess that's why they're so popular. It's just a good commuter. It's actually quite comfortable until you get to that 80 k's an hour, of course. And I don't know if it's because I've grown up seeing these bikes on the footpath delivering mail, but I feel, I just immediately feel like I can just ride onto the footpath and won't get in trouble, <laughs> which you don't get on other motorbikes. And I'm not gonna do it because that would be irresponsible. Turning circle is fantastic. And it does actually, it turns okay at these speeds. It's very flickable. It just needs like another four horsepower. Like yeah, just, just double the power and it'll be okay. <laughs> The confusion about these posty bikes are well that people are confused between people get the CT110s and the Super Cubs mixed up. I think it's primarily because Australia Post used to well they used to run the CT110s, so that's that was the posty bike. Everyone referred to them as the posty bike. And then I think around in 2013 they uh, replaced the CT110s with with the Super Cubs. Uh, you know, just a little bit more modern, maybe not quite as uh, strong and robust, but strong enough for the job. And they've got, you know, luxuries like electric start and um, yeah, we're just a, a little bit easier for the guys to guys and girls to ride. But obviously everyone on the streets just saw them transition from the CT110s to the Super Cubs and then they were still called posty bikes. So people thought that, yeah, the CT110 and the Super Cub is the same bike, but yeah, Honda's actually been producing them at the same time for a very long time. I don't know if they still do the CT110s actually, but yeah, the, these Super Cubs are still going. And I think in 2019 or 2020, the, the newest version 
uh, they've actually finally updated things like the brakes so it is, does now have disc brakes and, um, and they've upped the CC to 125 so it's, again I'm sure it's not a, a powerhouse but it might just be a little bit easier to do highway speed on okay I say it's weird using the heel to go I don't like it I have to use my toes feels so unnatural. I don't know if anybody actually uses it. Maybe it's just because my legs are a bit too lanky, I don't know. <laughs> That's how you get smooth shifts. So when you're changing down, if you blip the throttle as you change down, it, um, yeah, it kind of rev matches and then it's a, a very smooth shift. And when you're going up, you just back off, close the throttle for a second, and it, um, yeah, it's a nice up shift damn easy to ride and pretty quickly I forgot about not having a clutch lever so it's well yeah it's got to be a good thing especially if you're trying to do something where you need where you want to use one of your hands constantly like delivering mail so I do get it well there we go it was um it was probably not as quick as I was expecting although I wasn't expecting much but it was more fun than I was expecting. And I kind of see why, <laughs> I don't know if you remember that video of old mate Posty hitting that ramp that the kids built for him. <laughs> it's very, it's a very, it's well, like I said before, it's like riding a push bike. I see why, um, yeah, old mate could have been confused and just thought he'd just hit the ramp and send it. However, I don't recommend that. Stick to the bitumen guys, and we'll see you in the next one.